cooked up pretty nice too. It's it's uh, still kind of soft, so it's not not overcooked. <laughs> What's up guys, Sergio here, back with another video, and today we're gonna to be doing another food review. Uh, today we're gonna to be doing it on another Sweet Earth product. This time it's gonna be on Awesome Grounds. So this is gonna be a vegan-based item, and it looks like it's supposed to be uh, taking after like ground beef. And I think it's pretty interesting because I haven't seen a vegan product try to imitate actual like ground beef or like ground turkey. So I'm really curious to see like how it cooks up and how it tastes, so this, this will be good. Uh, but anyway, let's look at the uh, macros on this thing. So, uh, four servings, uh, serving size is three ounces. So for a three ounce serving, uh, it's gonna be a total of 190 calories. You're gonna be getting 11 grams of fat, seven grams of carbs, and 16 grams of protein, like I said before. Uh, also, you're, you're not really getting much fiber in this thing either. So 11 grams of fat is, is pretty high. Um, for like some ground turkey, I think you're looking more, well, actually, it's actually not too bad, I'll say, for, for like ground turkey or, or ground beef, it's gonna be probably about that, so the fat isn't too bad. Uh, if we're comparing this to chicken, then yeah, that is definitely, uh, pretty high in fat, but compared to like a ground turkey or ground beef, the fat content seems not too, not too bad. So 190 calories, pretty good. Let's look at what the ingredients is. What is this made of? Um, it looks like first ingredient is water. The second ingredient is textured pea protein. So this looks like it's a pea-based uh, type of meat. So it's not soy, uh, which what I did a review last week on like it was a soy type chicken. This is based off of pea protein. So um, yeah, this should be pretty interesting. The way you're supposed to cook it, it looks like you can either grill it on a grill or you can just uh, do it in a pan. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do it in a skillet and just act like it's like ground turkey. So we'll just kind of cook it up that way. I'm not gonna try to make it a burger or anything like that, but we'll just uh, grill it up like it's uh, ground turkey or ground beef and then we will see how it tastes. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare that. I'll show you guys a little bit too how it looks uh, as I cook it and then we'll uh, be back here to try it out. All right guys, so this is what it looks like um, before I'm starting to cook. So I just realized that uh, the Awesome Grounds, I believe, is the same company uh, that makes the Awesome Burger. Uh, so Sweet Earth makes both, both the Awesome Burger and the Awesome Grounds, which I've reviewed the Awesome Burger on this channel before. I think it's one of the first uh, burgers that I reviewed. But um, yeah, so it has like a similar kind of color, like a brownish, uh, reddish color. So we want to see how this thing cooks up. I've been cooking it for a while now, and I'm definitely getting awesome burger vibes because it definitely smells like that. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell when this is actually done because, uh, you know, when you have like raw ground turkey, ground beef, like, you know, it changes color. This one, it didn't really change color as much. It still looks about the same, but the meat does start to look, it's starting to look like it's getting a little brown. So um, I'm gonna say it's done, and I think in the directions it said to cook for about six minutes, and I believe it's been at least that. So uh, yeah, let's get this plated up and give it a taste. Cooked up pretty nice too. It's it's uh, still kind of soft, so it's not not overcooked. All right, here we go. Not too bad. This one is not bad at all. Um, I think I definitely cooked it pretty pretty good. Texture is nice, uh, it's not chewy. Uh, you can tell the meat is still, like tender has kind of like a bounce to it, if that makes sense. Um, as far as the flavor goes, it's, it's pretty good. I can still tell that it's not meat because it has like a weird, um, maybe it's the pea protein, I don't know what it is or the oil that's in it. It still has like a, a weird kind of aftertaste, but at its core, it tastes close enough to be a meat product. Um, I definitely wouldn't mind mixing this in, like putting it on tacos or mixing it in spaghetti. Um, it's pretty good, it's pretty good from that standpoint, but I still think you will be able to distinguish the difference between, uh, you know, this being a plant-based product versus uh, a meat, uh, meat product. So you can definitely distinguish the difference, but it tastes good. So I'm definitely gonna give this a thumbs up. Um, I definitely recommend you guys try it out if you're vegan and you, you want to do something that has like, a, you know, a ground beef, a recipe that requires ground beef or ground turkey, I would definitely try this out. 
um, you won't be disappointed. I think it'll fit in nicely as far as the texture and the taste will be close enough to, uh, to match whatever food you're trying to make. But um, yeah, that's, that's gonna be my thoughts on this. I recommend you guys go and check this out and, and try it yourselves and see if you guys like it. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Not too bad. I definitely could probably put this in a taco or something or spaghetti.